Hello, I'm Dr. Thomas Serena, founder, CEO, and medical director of Serena Group. It's a family of wound, hyperbaric, and research centers that stretch across the United States. I'm here today to talk to you about a new debridement device called Easy Debris. And I'm a general surgeon. I'm still board certified in general surgeon. So I know a lot about using scalpels and corrects and instruments for debridement. Now, I'm going to start by discussing our clinical trial, the effectiveness of a mechanical debridement instrument in reducing bacterial burden in chronic wounds. And the instrument I'm speaking about here is demonstrated. This is the easy debris device. And this is the cutting portion of this head, is the cutting portion. Now, the criteria to get into the clinical trial, pretty basic. Uh, if you just walked into the wound clinic, uh, you probably met the criteria. Uh, so we kept it pretty broad, large age range, all types of different wounds. What was unique about this clinical trial was the settings. We, did it, we performed it at a wound clinic, which is also serves as our, one of our research clinics, and in addition at a skilled nursing facility. So two settings in which we would use this device. The other unique aspect was the investigators. We had a surgeon, myself, and then one of my uh, junior partners who is trained in emergency medicine. And then we had two of our nurse, uh, nurse slash study coordinators who also used the device in the clinical trial. Patient demographics were what you might expect for a wound clinic, mostly uh, elderly and a large proportion of diabetics. And you don't have to read this. You can read the publication that's coming out in the Journal of Wound Care. I think one of the most surprising results, uh, in my opinion, was the reduction in pain. And you can see that during the debridement procedure, there was only about a two on a numerical points increase in uh, pain. And some of these patients just got topical uh, lidocaine. We didn't give any systemic uh, narcotics, nothing of that nature, just a little bit of topical uh, lidocaine in most of the uh, patients. So on that numerical scale, one, zero to 10, most of them said a slight increase in two, and the patients liked it. I'll tell you uh, just one quick story. Uh, one of our patients who participated in the clinical trial, we did debris much, did very well. She was admitted to the hospital, and, and while she was in the hospital, one of the surgeons there decided to debris the wound again. It did need it, and he used a scalpel blade, and she had terrific discomfort with the, with the debris bone. So when he came back in to debris it again, she said, no, I'm not going to consent. To, uh, for this second debridement, if you wanted to debrid this again, you need to call Dr. Serena and his staff and get one of those easy debrid tools. All right, well, going back to the clinical trial, the adverse events, we saw one infection, but the investigator didn't believe it was related to the easy debrid uh, instrument. We didn't have any bleeding complications, and that's not surprising. This cuts in a very flat, even way. You don't, there's, no, there's no opportunity for it to dig into the tissue and, and, and cause some bleeding problems, and there was no tissue damage. We didn't damage any normal tissue inadvertently. Looking at the results, now the dots are just how we measure the, the wound surface area, so uh, they're not uh, uh, appropriate for this discussion. But you look beforehand, you see uh, there's callus around the edge of the wound, and there's some slough present in the wound itself, and that needs to be debrided. This is classic uh, wound care uh, techniques. So we use the easy debrid. You can see the callus is gone. The wound is nice and clean, and uh, we've removed all the slough from the bottom of the wound to get a nice granular base. Now here I am using the device, and I'm taking off some slough uh, from the wound, uh, and it uh, really comes off rather nicely. Uh, no difficulties in removing it, and uh, this particular gentleman uh, did, said he didn't even want any pain medication and did very, very well. Now I mentioned that the primary endpoint was the reduction in bacteria in the wound. We used a device called the Moleculite Procedure, and it's a fluorescent image, real briefly. It shines a violet light on the wound at 407 nanometers. That makes uh, molecules, porphyrins, and uh, pyroveritins in the bacteria uh, sh vibrate and emit their own light. The light that they emit will be this cyan color, which is pseudomonas, and then other types of bacteria will be a red color. And that's how we were able to do, uh, do the fluorescent imaging beforehand, then we debrided the wound with the easy debris, and then took another image. So just one example from that. You can see here on this wound a lot of pseudomonas in the edge of this wound. It's pretty heavy bacterial load here. Using the easy debris, we were able to remove all of that uh, pseudomonal bacteria. And I can tell you that easy debris works really 
well with Pseudomonas. And we're designing now as we speak uh, a clinical trial for burn care. I think it may be really has a lot of potential uh, for the use in burns. There's a little bit of blush up here, a little bit of red uh, on the fluorescent image, and we'll get to that on the next debridement. And that may, you know, serial debridement is really what you need to do in these cases. Well, I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, my introduction to this new debridement tool, Easy to Breathe. If you have questions, I'd love to hear from you. Here's my email, serena at serenagroups.com. Please feel free uh, to contact me if you have questions about the instrument or if you have questions about our clinical trial. Thank you.